I hadn't fully considered the legal risks of starting a sleeper cell. And as a Canadian citizen, if I got charged with even a misdemeanor, it would be a violation of my green card, and I'd be deported from the country I've grown to love, America. So I did some research to see if there was anything that could protect me from deportation, and it seemed like the only thing that could give me immunity was if I married a U.S. citizen. There was no one in my life who would marry me right now. I tried asking Andy if he would marry me as a favor, but he didn't want to do it. Just legal status? Yeah. I don't want to marry a man. So with the clock ticking and no romantic prospects, I felt like the only way to safely move forward was to marry Andy without his knowledge. My plan was to make it appear to Andy like we were just gonna grab some Chinese takeout for lunch one day. So I rented out a Chinese restaurant and redesigned their menu to only consist of unappealing dishes that no reasonable person would want to order. The only exception was the house special, a chicken and broccoli dish called I Do. To officiate the ceremony, I hired someone who specialized in traditional Chinese weddings. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> don't be, don't be. Okay. All right, so... so. Um, to be clear, you're, the ceremony is going to be entirely in Mandarin? In Mandarin, that's correct. Okay, you're not going to say a word of English No, I won't say, say a word of English. Okay. Now, is Andy going to understand Chinese? Of course. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So this okay. is where I was thinking uh, you could stand All right. and do the ceremony. Oh, really? And we'll come in there. OK. So with our officiant in place, I met Andy outside when he arrived. One thing before we go in, it's, it's really authentic, the restaurant. So it's respectful if you order your dish in Mandarin. It's written out phonetically. Oh, OK. And with that, we headed inside to get married. I do. I told the officiant I wanted our marriage certificate to look like a restaurant bill as an homage to our first date where we split the check. Uh, so you accept visa, right? After Andy and I each paid, we signed what he believed was the receipt. Ah, uh, Officially making us Yi Han, or married, in the eyes of the state of California. It was a little odd sitting across from someone who had no clue they were your husband. But all that really mattered is that I was now legally protected so we could finally move forward with our plan. <laughs> 